Well, hey, YouTube. So today, you guys are back here with some more interesting news. And Tatsura Takashi, he's the uh, founder of Monolith Soft. He is the creator of the Xenoblade franchise. And once again, he comes back here with an influential quote that definitely we should be talking about, guys. So regarding Xenoblade Chronicles X, it was a decent game. It wasn't bad. It had amazing gameplay. The open world was fantastic. Even the music was underrated in that game. The music actually was pretty good. Although I do, I do prefer ACE Plus over... The name of the guy which I have forgotten over the years, but yeah, I do I, I believe the, the original Xenoblade Blake was, was better in that respect. But he does talk about that once he finishes with Xenoblade Blade Chronicles 2, which he's still doubtful about, which is the funny part, he's still doubtful about that. And I do believe this is going to be delayed until probably 2018 holidays, which is, is which is a lofty claim. I'm, I'm aware of how lofty this claim is, however, this is exactly what I believe is going to happen here, and, and I would not be surprised. So, yeah, what he's saying here is that. Both Mario Kart 8 and Xenoblade Chronicles X were constrained by the Wii U's limited audience. And also, he doesn't mention this, but the architecture was also kind of weird. You know, it wasn't the best. And also, the specs weren't the best either on the Wii U. Nintendo Switch has fixed the uh, audience. Obviously, Nintendo Switch is a big success. I mean, technically, it hasn't surpassed the Wii U yet. But by the time the holidays come around, especially in 2018, I do expect that to happen. The architecture on the... Uh, on the uh, Switch is better, it's more of a Tegra, more of a traditional architecture, right, it's a little bit better. And yeah, also, um, the added portability of the game makes it a little bit more valuable than the Wii U game, because you can bring it on the go and play it at home, you know what I'm saying? So, it's definitely a more valuable concept, and yeah, so what are you saying here, let me, let me move down a little bit here. What he says right here is, where is that quote? Right here, I have a mountain of tasks I need to overcome. For Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but I would love to think about it. But I would love to think about it after the development of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is completed. So that's not a confirmation that Xenoblade Chronicles X is coming to Nintendo Switch, but it's definitely a possibility. One thing I will say is I do believe the original Xenoblades need to be a uh, uh, you know ported and uh, remade first because the tactical issues of Xenoblade Chronicles was the only issue I have with the game. It was a perfect game. I still give it a 10 out of 10. But the one nitpick you can make is from a tactical perspective. First of all, the uh, graphics were very poor, right? The uh, textures were very low res, and and sometimes you have some texture pop-ins and FPS drops. And all you would need to do is provide HD textures and fix the resolution and fix the frame rate, and you would have the perfect game. The story is perfect. The gameplay is perfect. The world is perfect. It really is a perfect game, and it is my favorite game of all time. But even I can agree that the technical aspects of the game could be used a little boost, and the Switch... Even the Wii U had enough power, but the Switch definitely has enough power to make this a possibility and make the world be aware of the greatness that was, you know, the Chronicles that was washed out due to the, it was on the, on the end of the lifespan of the Wii and it did not look pretty. People like pretty graphics, people like pretty stuff, and initially I, I thought the same way about the game when I first heard about it because the textures were low res. I just thought it was some indie budget game, but it really was more than just that. Overall, guys, we hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to pre-order Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I'll link down below. Thank you, bye.